Hey guys, we are talking Pythagorean triples today. It's almost like being on a roller coaster. It's so exciting. Okay, I'm going to be pretty detailed in this video. If you just need a really quick overview, I will link a video over there. I will also link a more detailed video on the Pythagorean theorem if you need a bit more overview on that. But let's get started. Okay, they're wondering if a, this set of numbers, 10, 13, and 15, is a Pythagorean triple. So basically what they're asking is, could these be the sides of a right triangle? Is basically what they're asking. So Pythagorean theorem is what helps us determine if something can be a right triangle. Okay, a squared plus b squared plus c squared. I'm guessing you've probably been using it. Biggest thing to remember is that c is your hypotenuse. It's the longest side. So in these examples, we don't have the actual triangle with the sides labeled, but we know that the longest side, the biggest number, is the hypotenuse if it is a right triangle, right? That's what we're trying to figure out is if it is, if these could be the sides of a right triangle. Okay, so here we go. 10, 13, and 15. So I'm going to label these as my A, B, and we know this one is C because it's the biggest. A and B could be swapped. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so I'm going to set this up. 10 squared plus 13 squared equals 15 squared. Okay, and then we go from there. Um, 10 squared, that is 10 times 10. So it's not 20, that's 10 times 2. 10 squared is 10 times 10, which gives me 100. Plus 13 squared gives me 169. Um, I should put a little question mark here because we're seeing if it's equal. We don't know for sure if it's equal or not. So we'll put that there. Um, 15 squared is 225. Okay, now 100 plus 169 is 269. So does 169 equal 225? No. That means this is not a Pythagorean triple. Okay, it did not work in the Pythagorean theorem, so it is not a Pythagorean triple. These numbers can tell us um, if it's a um, acute triangle or obtuse triangle, and I have a video on that as well, and I'll link it over there. Okay, let's do the second problem. Okay, so 5, 12, and 13, are these a Pythagorean triple? Well, let's see. Let's plug them in. So which one's my hypotenuse? Big enough, biggest one, so it's 13. So that is C. Um, and these are A and B, okay? So A squared, five squared, plus B squared is 12 squared equals C squared, so 13 squared. All right, five squared is 25, five times five. 12 squared is 144. 13 squared, oh, again, sorry, I should be putting a question mark here because we're checking to see if it's equal. Sometimes I forget that. Um, equals 169. Okay, 25 plus 144 gives me, da, 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 169, oh my gosh, best day ever. So 169 equals 169. That is true, yes. So yes, this is a Pythagorean triple. These could be the sides of a right triangle, okay? All right, hopefully that made sense, and you can get your homework done and have dreams of math that are numerous.